Everything needs healthy soil. You can't have a healthy community, healthy water, healthy air, healthy food without healthy soil. And we have a massive waste issue. So, you know, I saw composting as the obvious answer to address every one of those aspects. You know, reduces trucking, reduces emissions, reduces landfill usage and incineration, supplying and creating a product that enriches the environment and people's health. This makes so much more sense for the community. Why are we hauling this stuff off when we should keep it close to home and use it to make something out of it. The kind of the main slogan for my business is feed the food that feeds you. So it's not only a sense of feeding you know the plants or the soil, it's also feeding you and your community and kind of creating that cycle of like what you put in is what you get out. This mission of composting is very much linked to this mission of food waste reduction or food waste diversion from the landfill. I think that the uh, community composting is just incredibly important in urban environments um, everywhere and there's a lot of opportunity to have local and sustainable jobs, increase the local food movement, and just increase community engagement in a really beneficial way for a lot of, for a lot of people. I was thinking, you know, all this food waste and scraps and stuff that um, we can turn it into something uh, useful with, for the soil. So that's how I got into it. We found that restaurants and cafes and juice bars would be willing to pay us to pick it up and transfer it to the community gardens where we would help them process it and it stayed out of the community garden. So that's how we got into it, was through the need to amend the soils in the community gardens and then a, re a positive response from, uh, from the businesses in the area. My personal interest in community composting is that um, I want to grow my own food and because I live in an urban setting in particular, the soil is not really suitable right off the bat. I personally like the thought of why not just team up with nature and do what nature's gonna do. And I see that community composting is that um, is one of those bridges that just allows everyday person, an everyday person to take care of their own food waste. Giving folks more control over the food system from beginning to end. So growing the food and then, um, you know, hopefully eating the food and then composting it and starting the whole process back over again when the compost becomes the soil for the garden. It continues to blow my mind how many different uses there are for it. I have managed to convert many, many gardeners in my area from their pesticides and their fertilizers to using my worm castings. It's the way to engage you know, our, our taste buds from you know the, the things that we're picking out of the garden, having grown that in the compost. It's, it's a way that we can engage our entire selves in the process of our, our, our most basic need, which is food. And so composting is really the linchpin in a city environment to be able to do that because you need that organic matter to be able to fuel the community-supported agriculture programs. So what we want to do is figure out how to have our own community resources reinvested locally, as well as providing incentives so that communities and individuals of wealth from, from outside will see the value and want to be part of investing um, to kind of shift some of those balances. Community composters have never been so critical in that movement, um, you know, towards, uh, towards zero waste and towards a, a whole food system model. We know that we need to kind of cut the cord with the landfill and we need to cut the cord with the fertilizer factory and that's ultimately the only thing that's going to make our communities um, self-sustaining self and, our, and our local food system self-sustaining. It's amazing how people from different diverse experiences bring different ideas to the mix um, and I think that it's a recipe for greater success. You know, the, the more um, those who are affected by the decisions are involved in making the decisions. Education is a huge part of this whole movement um, and starting with your local community is really important. And also knowing that in New York City and, and everywhere else there's food waste everywhere so you know we want to be kind of as local as possible about dealing with that.
When you come together, you really create something that transcends your individual self in the long run, which is essentially what compost does. So if we as a city can mimic the process and the longevity of compost, then we solve a lot of other issues along the way. In a place like DC where gentrification is a big issue and old uh, residents of the neighborhood are being displaced, community composting and community agriculture as a whole are places where those are becoming meeting grounds for people to interact. Flint is a what would be considered a food desert and so um, teaching composting and teaching gardening is really critical there. I think the benefits are kind of endless, you know, everything from community engagement to growing local food to um, utilizing a waste as a, as a resource, um, water retention, which is a huge problem in New York City, um, in our soils, um, but I could go on and on. The population really wants to grow food. It starts and ends with people, and I think that if we can invest in people and educate people, then compost is just becomes a habit. And we hope that compost becomes that in the city of Los Angeles in the next few years. Baltimore is ready for composting, for community composting. And I'm really excited about being someone who can help to bring that knowledge to the communities that need it most. Um, because I was once a part of a community that needed it. And so that's what kind of got